What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy and welcome back today to Minecraft! How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. So today is a pretty fun and silly video because we are going to be taking a look at some more Minecraft witchcraft. Hello cow, how are you doing? <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice you buddy. Oh, you look friendly. Okay, so today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the true smallest house ever created in Minecraft. So this is going to be pretty fun. Are you excited? Are you, are you excited? Look at me, please. Are you? Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know what, cow? You just do your thing. Let's continue on here. So... If you're someone that subscribed to the channel, you'll know that maybe a week or so ago, maybe two weeks actually, we did a video where I said that I found the smallest house ever made in Minecraft. And yes, it's right in front of us. Look at the size of this bad boy. So these are really cool little creations. They're super, super fun. And basically, I've taken a screenshot. I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, basically, these are fully functioning houses. Did you see that weird... What just happened there? Did you see that? I have no idea. Um, so yeah, these are fully functioning houses in Minecraft. And the cool thing about them is they are tiny and they are made in vanilla Minecraft using only one command. So this particular house here is made by Red Engineer. However, there is a rival developer called Kuzke and they are having a friendly creation war to actually create the cow. What are you? <laughs> You're making this video really complicated, dude. And I know that if I kill you, you'll drop some sweet meats. But however tempting that is, get out the way. Right. So as I was saying, they are having like a friendly creation war to create the true smallest house in Minecraft. And today... Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see it. So this is pretty cool. Oh, in case you're wondering, by the way, yeah, if you've never seen these before, you can actually go inside. How cool is that? So this one is by the Red Engineer. As you can see here, this all comes as standard. And it's got an upstairs as well where you can put like a bedroom. And there's like a weird sort of cupboard thing type thingamajig, which is pretty awesome. So you can use these as a house. And, you know, they're absolutely tiny. So they're really good, I think, as not for like a permanent base. But for if you're going exploring or something like that and you need a place place that's safe to stay you can like craft some stuff you can have a sleep all that good stuff but anyway today we are going to be looking at the true smallest house so what we need to do of course because this is a command block creation is we need to give ourselves a command block so if you've never done this before very straightforward all you do is forward slash give your username or you can put at p but you know what i just prefer using it this way command underscore block boom there we go and then just get something like sneaky cheeky lever to activate it and then head to the linked page in the description to the developer's site and um, this one is by kuske and uh, yeah you copy the whole thing in which is like 25,000 characters so if you've never done this before don't be alarmed they are super super long just paste the bad boy in done and put the lever down boom the machine oh god oh no 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 this isn't good this is good no no no, no. i don't no no I, don't, I really don't want to be inside oh god <laughs> are you kidding I, oh <laughs> i'm gonna have to break it to, i've never done that before in my Oh, we're gonna have to do it again. Hang on, hang on. The good thing is, though, if you do actually mess this up like I just did, you can actually just destroy the machine. <laughs> Oops. Hang on. Let me go to the side of it this time. Paste in the command. Activate it. Don't get, don't, oh, there we go, fantastic. So there we go, the machine is made. Now this is by Kuzke and it says there, this command has been specially made for a war between him and Red Engineer. So, are you ready for this? Let's do this. Okay, so are you ready to see the smallest house ever made in Minecraft? Are you ready? Are you ready? I hope you're ready. So this one is a fairly straightforward recipe. All you need to do when the machine has been made is drop a like log on the floor and an emerald and boom, it will give you the spawn egg for the even smaller house. So three, two, one. Ah! Oh. Wait a minute, you might be thinking to yourself, James, this house looks maybe even slightly larger than the other one. What are you talking about? Are you talking rubbish? What are you talking about? There is a third one here for a reason. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first one that we can make inside this mod. So to me, this kind of looks pretty much the same size as the Red Engineers one. It doesn't look quite as tidy. The roof is a little bit weird. But once again, this is actually a fully functional house that you can use in Minecraft. And of course, if we walk into this bad boy, boom, we get ourselves a sneaky cheeky house. So this one is a single layer. It doesn't have an upstairs, but you know what? It has pretty much everything that you will need. It's got a bed. So you can have a little snooze, you can have a little craft, you can have a little 
bake potato session and you can put your potatoes in there. So fantastic. Um, you've got some wall space. You can put up some pictures. You can have a little dance. You can invite a sheep along with you. You know, whatever you want to, you can do inside this house. But... This is not the smallest house in Minecraft. Oh my god, I've gone blind. What the heck? Oh, oh the sun, the sun. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, this is not the smallest house in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Because these are tiny houses, but there is a nano house. I'm excited. So the nano house is created much like the one before it. However, instead of using wooden log, all you do instead is you use the wooden plank. So plank on the floor, emerald on the floor, boom, you get this bad boy and this. <laughs> this is the nano house. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> look at that. I mean, seriously, look at it. I mean, I mean, I mean, just, just look at, hang on, wait, 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 look at all three of them. That is ridiculous. So, ladies and gentlemen, the nano house. It's so, so, oh, God, I'm inside it now. Okay, now I'm outside. Oh, oh what have I done? James, the sun. Oh, ow. Okay, so, <laughs> as you can tell, you can actually go inside it, but look at the size of it. It's absolutely tiny. And to be honest, I don't even think you can make things smaller than this. If you actually look, I tried to do it with logs because the cool thing is with the log is it has like the rings. So you can see here that like these two houses pretty much fit inside the middle ring of the log, as you can kind of see there. However, this one, look at all the space around it. It is so, so ridiculously small and it does actually have details on it. It's got a little chimney. It's got a little door. Pretty cool. And of course, we can go inside it. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Uh, oh, ow. Ow. This, <laughs> this house doesn't like me much. So I think it was doing that weird black screen kicking me out of the house because basically I placed two of these creations too close together. It does actually... Oh. It does actually say, don't place these two houses closer than 10 blocks from each other. So, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Um, but I've moved over to this NPC village. It's a really good way of gauging the scale of it. An NPC villager, what do you think of these tiny houses? Are you impressed? Do you like, do you... No. <laughs> He's obviously not very impressed. But anyway, I'm impressed because this is kind of cool. So, three, two, one, boom. <laughs> Yeah, look at the size of that. That's just ridiculous. So I, I went over here to kind of show you the size compared to the blades of the grass when you plant like seeds. And it's basically, it's it's basically the size of just a blade of grass. It's ridiculous. It is so small. But anyway, let's go and take a little look inside. So as you can see, this nano house is actually kind of the same as the small one. It has everything you need. No windows in this one, unfortunately. So you won't get the beautiful view. However, as you can see here, we've still got a bed so we can have a little snooze, which is always good. We can put some stuff in the chest like this seed. <laughs> there we go. We can craft some stuff like cake and then we can bake some salmon or whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, really, really useful. So as I kind of mentioned, I think these houses are more for like just kind of doing some stuff in them and going on explorations. I wouldn't necessarily live in these as a permanent base, but as a fun little command, I think they're really cool and I like them an awful lot. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be about it for this video today. I really hope you enjoyed this. Are you impressed by this? I actually kind of am. <laughs> I think it's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you think these houses are awesome, then please remember to poke me in that like button. That would be awesome. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. Because we do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rrrr, up.